Hello and welcome to the Corny Lind video blog. My name is Chris and joining me today is one of our special counsel, Jacques Mel. Now before we jump into the conversation today, I want to let you know what we do discuss is just information only. It's not intended to be legal advice. Now under the regulating legislation, you have certain rights to terminate an off the plane contract. Jacques, can you elaborate on those rights for us today, please? Certainly, Chris. The Body Corporate and Community Management Act of 1997 provide buyers with t statutory rights to terminate a contract under certain conditions. The most common uh, conditions that apply is the sunset clause, breach of the sunset clause condition, and also disclosure requirements. The sunset clause in a contract is simply the date by which the builder must complete the development. Most builders these days have in their contract uh, any period between, it can range from 12 months to 36 months. And the sunset clause provision in the Act purely provides if there's such a clause in the contract, then the builder must complete the development within that time and complete the contract within the earlier of the time specified in the contract or five and a half years. If the builder fails to complete the contract within that time, then you can terminate the contract and seek repayment uh, of the monies already paid towards the purchase price. Um, the Act provides that the purchase price monies must be repaid within 14 days after you've terminated. Um, it's very uncommon that that scenario arises today because most builders just want to complete the uh, building and get their money. Um, what's more common is changes in the disclosure. Uh, the Act has very specific provisions of what's required to be disclosed in relation to what you will at the end of the day uh, receive. It's important to remember that if there's any changes in uh, the product then the builder must provide you with a further statement of disclosure. Now, once you receive a further statement of disclosure, you only have 21 days within which you may terminate. And importantly, you can only terminate if you will be materially prejudiced if you are compelled to complete the contract given the changes. So what do you mean by materially prejudiced? Is, is that simply, you know, changing the colour of, say, some curtains? Uh, yeah, that's a good question, Chris. No, it's not uh, just cosmetic changes. Okay. It must be something that will materially prejudice you as the buyer. For example, uh, there is a Queensland case where a buyer entered into a contract to buy a unit and the common property included access to a barbecue, a pool, um, a gym, and also provided that there will be CCTV cameras and security monitoring equipment. When the further statement was then issued, uh, there was no CCTV cameras and no security monitoring equipment mentioned. The courts decided in that case, yes, it was material prejudice and uh, awarded the, the, buyer, the case to the buyer and said the buyer was entitled to terminate. Other cases turn around uh, a reduction in the lot size or a reduction in your entitlement to common property access. These days developers have woken up to those type of um, scenarios and you would find that in your contract there's a shrinkage clause that provide that a lot size may be reduced by up to 5%. Of course, if the further statement or the change in the further statement uh, is within that parameter of, say, 5%, then it will, will not be materially prejudiced. So, importantly for all buyers out there, if you receive a further statement, it's an opportunity to maybe terminate your contract. But remember, you only have 21 days to make a decision so it's important to get legal advice early to make sure you stay within the time period. Well, thank you very much, Jacques. That was very interesting. For more information, please visit our website, 
and check out our legal resource centre. If you have any immediate questions, please feel free to also give us a telephone call or submit an email. Thank you for viewing. We'll see you next time.